AppRight Cloud is now generally available. Wow, that feels nice to say. So I wanna talk about how we got here, the certain milestones we reached and what GA looks like for us, and also what the future looks like for AppRight Cloud. So first of all, GA, simply means that we are now out of beta. And of course, every company has its own milestones and thresholds that they wanna reach before they can call themselves generally available. Now, for us at AppRight, we wanted to reach certain points with users. We wanted to make sure that we worked out a lot of the kinks, we've seen the project in action and see how companies build and actually scale with AppRight. So this was a long 26 month journey that got us to this point. And now we can say we're confident to launch and put our stamp of approval on the product and say it's ready for production. The journey for us started in February of 2023 with our private beta launch. And then two months later in May of 2023, we went into public beta. From the initial private beta, we reached 100,000 developers on AppRight Cloud within the first year. So in February of 2024, then we achieved our goal of 20 billion database operations. And in May of 2025, this year, we reached 300,000 projects on AppRight Cloud. So AppRight Cloud was built to scale reliably and quietly. And over these months, we've seen teams grow from their first few users to scaling to hundreds of thousands of users without touching their infrastructure or any building surprises. So we feel like the product has matured to the point where we wanted it to be. Now, of course, a big part of this was also security and compliance. So we wanted to make sure that AppRight was adhering to GDPR, CCPA, HIPAA, and SOC 2 Type 2 compliance. And we're happy to say that we are now adhering to all these regulations and governing bodies. Now, from here, we've also added a lot of features. So security-wise, we added multi-factor authentication in this process. We added role-based access management for users, and of course, database backups to ensure that you always have access to your data and you don't lose it when your projects are in production. On the feature side, we've made a lot of improvements and also added new features. One of the big ones was the AppRight network, which we wanted to accomplish before going into GA. And the AppRight network is a network of cloud regions and edge locations to improve cloud availability, performance, and compliance. So we wanted to reduce latency and just make sure that your project is available everywhere. Now, from there, we've also made a lot of database improvements. We've added things like local function development. That was a big request that we got from the community. And of course, one of my favorite features, AppRight sites. To me, I feel like it completes the product and the full vision of what AppRight is supposed to be. So now you can build and deploy your front end with AppRight. Now shifting over to the future, I first want to reiterate AppRight's commitment to the open source community. We've gotten here with the help of thousands of contributors and we want to ensure that our self-hosted version will always be compatible with AppRight Cloud and that our free tier remains unchanged. We're eternally grateful for all the contributors and we would not be here without you. Now, in terms of AppRight Cloud itself, we're of course gonna keep adding new features and iterating. I feel like you're never really done when you're working on something like this. Some hints that I can give you is we are gonna make our databases more flexible. We do want to add more providers for our AppRight database. Right now, it's just MariaDB, but we're talking to other providers and looking at integrations. And we are gonna add more regions so AppRight will be more globally available. And of course, with that comes reliability and speed. We are also going through a launch week right now, you might have seen some of the database improvements. So I'm excited about it. We're going to keep iterating and we love to hear your feedback and we're excited to see what you all are going to build with it.